Hi, my name's John from Efficiency Matrix. Today we are going to cover toilet ventilation. The toilet can be a tricky one. It can be one of the coldest parts of the home, especially in the southern parts of Australia during winter months. It's a room that due to its nature is sometimes discounted and not treated as a part of the house. Most toilets are outfitted with an electric fan, but they also are outfitted with a ventilated window. Unless a toilet exists in a room with a bathroom or shower, they usually don't suffer from moisture issues which can cause mould buildup. For making this window airtight, we cut a piece of perspex to size to fit into the ventilated part of the window that was letting insects into the house and we used silicon to make it airtight. As an alternative to some of the old practices of ventilating a toilet, we recommend ventilating a toilet with inside air instead of directly pulling air from outside. Turning off ventilation in the toilet when you need to, rather than ventilating it 24 by 7, 52 weeks of the year, adds considerably to energy efficiency in a home. This retrofit provides a more effective ventilation as opposed to less effective and permanent ventilation. Some of the key parts to enabling a more comfortable and efficient toilet is to take the following actions. Remove outside ventilation in the window, install a draft stopper fan, a timer on your fan, install a door vent, keep the toilet lid down when not in use to reduce humidity. Having ventilation in the door of the toilet enables the fan to operate a lot more efficiently and provides a better effect of removing any unwanted odors because it's drawing air from a lower part in the room. When draft proofing your house, ensure that high humidity activity rooms such as showers, cooking bench tops and even gas heaters slash wood fires have sufficient ventilation. Seek advice from a professional if you are unsure.